My name is Paula Ramos and I'm a journalist. I work with MSNBC and with Vice News. So I grew up in, in between different cities. I was born in Miami to a Mexican father and a Cuban mother. Um, but when I was about five years old, I moved to Spain with my mom. A lot of Cubans ended up from Havana to Miami to Spain. So there's a pretty significant Cuban migration that ended up in Madrid. So I spent literally my, my entire childhood ping-ponging between Madrid and Miami. And I think that sort of speaks to how a lot of Latinos identify, right? You're kind of from everywhere, but nowhere at the same time. And so I think part of our journey is, is understanding that quest of belonging you know, and figuring out what it means to belong in places. I have figured out, I think also because of the nature of my career, which is to always be on the road, um, home is wherever I am. You know? Home is finding in comfort in walking into a Mexican restaurant. It's finding comfort and finding like Cubans in Phoenix, which the other day actually it happened. I found like a like a group of Cuban men that were that were just walking down the streets of Phoenix. Um, I feel comfort in grabbing the phone and talking to my grandmother, whether she's in Madrid or my Mexican grandmother in Mexico. Feel, feeling home anywhere that I am, which is just understanding um, that my roots travel with me, you know, that I don't have to adjust to an environment, I don't have to assimilate into an environment. Um, I can be who I am um, at all times, wherever I am. I go back to something that my my father had taught me early on in, in life, which is, you know, obviously he you know, he's a journalist. He's been anchoring when he was young for, for many years, for over 30 years at this point. And one of the things that he taught me was that the, the true power and privilege of being a journalist is being able to to question authority, question power and, and challenge the status quo. Right. And I remember early on in my life, I would ask him, well, you know, you seem like you have political ambitions one day. I could see my father one day running for office in Mexico. And then, you know, years later, he said, you know what? Actually, um, I, as a journalist, have more power than a politician. Why? Because I can ask questions and I can challenge. And so I've taken that um, with me everywhere I go. And I consider it to be an immense privilege that I have you know, to be able to face people and, and ask questions. Of course, I think identity and being a, a Latina, being queer, um, all of that sort of identifies the stories that I think are important. And it helps me sort of get access um, with communities that, you know, that sometimes you have to work really hard to build trust with people. Um, it helps me figure out angles that are typically either misunderstood, um, silenced, not obvious. And so I think it's, it, it informs everything I do, not just Latino stories or immigrant stories, but just absolutely every single story I think is infused with, um, with, with, with who I am. I think the most important part of this job as a journalist is being able to build genuine trust with people, no? and to be able to, to walk out of every story and understanding that there is a genuine trust um, in the conversations and in the story that we're doing. And a big part of that is being a Latina, being able to connect that way. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, um, we are at the precipice of, of huge political change in this country, right? We're at the precipice of becoming a majority minority country. Um, we are changing TV, we're changing culture, we're changing politics. And so this is a time to dream big. This is a time to ask for more. This is a time to understand that um, we have worked really hard to be in this moment. And so whatever your dream is, whether you wanna be a journalist like me, whether you wanna change um, this country through politics, you can do it. No, no, no more do we have do we have to ask for power? Do we have to ask for belonging? Like this is our time. So you can do it. Our inclination to be empathetic people. I think at the end of the day, no matter how many, you know, generations within our family of us have been in this country, I think the one thing that unites all of us, regardless regardless of your of your background, is this idea that someone in our family tree did migrate to this country, right? And did migrate to this country with one thing in mind, which was to have better opportunities than those that they left behind. And I think that at our core makes us empathetic people, right? It allows us to understand that what we all want is a little bit more liberty and freedom and rights than what we left behind.